Honestly, Tim, if you're out there, please, please find us. Let us know that you're safe. We're all very concerned for you. In the meantime, our pizza competition is slowly coming to an end. Let's hear it, people. we got some good, good ideas right now. We're going to keep running this through through our last game, which is our Ascension final table. And so you guys don't want to hear me talk about it. Let's just get straight to it. This is our Ascension final, baby. Let's see who's going to Vegas. Hey, guys. We're back, and we're here to play Ascension now for the regionals here once again at Hexing Company, New York, New York. I love saying that. Uh, today, we have to see you guys at the board in front of you. It's all set up. Uh, I will be in charge of the center deck. I will be in charge of Pantheon and make sure that nothing's done incorrectly on that. It's up to you guys to see how well you do. So, we're going to do a quick introduction, uh, starting with, I guess, you, sir. Say your name and then what store you came from. Yes, uh, my name is Nevin Ball from Hex and Company. Excellent. I'm um, Jared Reyes, representing either Cafe in Hoboken. Chris Vaccaro, representing Toy Wiz in Nanuet, New York. Excellent. We have a lot of uh, places uh, all across, which I love that. Was, that's what's going on for this regional. So, uh, to start off the game, uh, starting with you, uh, we will flip the top card of the deck, and okay. uh, whoever's the highest cost will go first. Sorry, I have to lean over for the first part of the game. Ah, you got a longer reach. Four is pretty good. Uh, suck it, five. Uh, it's because it's you, I'm going to beat you. Don't do it. Oh, we tied. So, one more time. <laughs> Ladies right. first. Six, beat it. I can. Ah, you do not Okay. So, that is our beginning lineup. You go, you go, Ooh, that was very stop. important. The Flytrap Witch, Void Thurston, the All-Seeing Eye, Mephit, Arbiter of the Precipice. Oh, so, God, please. Uh, I know what happened. You got the highest. Yep. So, starting with you, go first. Over here, if you look, I have the extra honor and plus extra militias and apprentices in case someone needs replacements. Other than that, start one ready. Here comes your 3-2 hand. Don't jinx it. No, I got the 4-1 hand. Take it. What a jerk. And then my turn. Replace my Void Initiate. All right, so the game's Bang. starting quick right Ooh. there. Jer going on, getting a Void Thurster right off the bat. Three-player Ascension. Honor mm. count's a little different than the four-player. I mean, I guess quick, fast-paced moving game. These guys look like they know what they're doing. <laughs> it's going to be fun you. to see the strategy uh, change. First, I'll punch the Cultist. Okay. Ooh, punch the Cultist. The, the move is trending. He's going to go there. I actually got to think things out. I'm going to buy a Mystic. Chris buying the Mystic to Four end his again. turn I'm right get there. The void Initiate and a Mystic. Real quick. Right. Let me see what the card flips up. Yeah, the Tyrant. Getting the Mystic and then in my turn. These guys are moving fast, so if you guys aren't paying That's attention, me. you're going to oh, miss well, something pretty quick. That's a 3 2. Oh, you had a 5 4 1. 4 1, though. We're restarting this bad boy. <laughs> I don't want to restart that. I know you don't. Put under there. Thank you so much. So the goal of Ascension is to end with the most honor. You gain honor, try to feed monsters. Arthur is good, right? But you get the honor on the table, but you also get the honor while you build your deck. It is a, belt, a deck building game, so the more better, bigger cards you have in your deck, the more honor you'll get at the end of the game. And at the end of the game, we count the honor that you have gained on the table and the amount of honor in your, in your deck. So just because you have the most honor on the table does not mean you're technically going to be the winner. This is where the constructs come into play. And and in the fast-paced moving and game, strategy is changing quickly after you after you each turn. So <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how these guys played out right now. And it's it's a fast-paced moving game right now. Grabbing a card, I will of course hand it to you. Our temple replaces. So I play that to gain two, and then I'll draw a card. I'm going to build the tension here. Hopefully, I hit the six. Yeah. <sighs> I just want to make sure. Yep. Goes to Chris right there. Oh, they're on Duke of Lies. Duke of Lies throwing on, on the board. <laughs> Vote initiate. I'm going to discard the militia that's in uh, there. Arbor of the Precipice draws me two cards, and I will banish my other militia. Those are wow. gone. Banishing Goodbye. is for suckers. One, well two, three, four, five, six. Would have had it. <laughs> uh, I'll get the Aha Templar. Place my temple librarian. Take the librarian. Card draw is card draw. So the board initiate going with Jared right there. Good luck. Gets a Templar and a librarian. Good move right there for him. Going for the void con with the void faction right out of the gate. Just want to clarify that card is for your new. That is my hand. Yeah. Make sure. Yep. And then pop one. Drawn four. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Replaced by Samael Strickster. No, it was uh, the Temple Librarian. Into another Temple Librarian. Wow. Oh, no, sorry. Yes, yeah. right. 
I know, because I wasn't going to be able to afford that. Oh, all good. That's my job. This isn't like Vegas. I'm not going to get my hand chopped off for touching the blackjack deck. Um, that'll yeah. be it. Okay. Draw a card. Draw two more cards. One, two. Uh, I will give you this because it's being banished. Uh, let us play the Arhar Templar against the Mephit for two. Yep. Getting rid of the Duke of Lies because I don't want that. Boy, yeah, Interesting places. move right there. Duke of Lies, yeah. Jared, right, getting rid of the Duke the of Lies so doesn't want people to gain the advantage of that right um, away. What has been killed and what has not. Again, a fast paced um, move in the game. Three players a lot different than the four player and two player. Strategies are changing, but these guys are definitely veterans. So even if you're playing in a game like this and you miss one move, that might affect you for turns to come. So this is going to be very interesting to see how each player does their best of keeping up with the pace of the game. All right. So defeat this. One and one power. Okay, here we go. One. So we got five. For three. Shade of the Black Watch. Oh. oh, no. And four, five. So Nevin yeah. takes a Wolf Shaman and a Heavy Infantry to finish off this term. Use it to draw a card. The all seeing eye. Great contract. Allows you to draw a card every turn. And he draws a Flight like Trap Witch right there. That is sadly a, a thing for now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Wizards. <laughs> uh, can I have two honor, please? Oh, good. <laughs> you know, a five. I will place that five with a red. Uh, Good start to Chris's turn right now. The shade of the black watch. Takes the shade of the black watch, giving himself Good some power for future no, turns. Uh, punch. Yes, got one point. Punch the cultist. I am loving that. People do things for me. Yep. It's all good. <laughs> as well as to make sure that no one takes more than they should. Play the Temple of Librarian. Discard a card drawing these two. The camera will catch me, and then the internet will come and lynch me. Avoid this shit. I pass you this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five. Wind tyrant. Six, seven. And my turn. All right. Play another construct. A drizzle staff. And haven't thrown down the a drizzle three, staff. Three, four, five. Well, four apprentices. Process for five. Taking the beauty oh, that is the fly trap, which design. we all know that is my Two favorite card of the game. One gold is? One. One gold is. Yep. Two constructs out there, two different factions for an Evan. One turn ability, draw a card. Temple Librarian, discarding the Apprentice. Draw one, have to shuffle. Sounds like fun. Jared's really relying on the Enlightened this faction is exciting, right now. exciting streaming. When Big I when you start getting decks, build, drawing your cards over and over again. I mean, this is one of the faster out. games I've seen so far. Like, literally everything's going super fast, which is... Oh, if it was just me and him, it would literally take us four minutes to finish this game. I'm holding them back. Yeah, you are. Yeah. But we like you. We so don't want okay. to admit that, but yeah, we like the company. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. So Rune's and wild right there. I don't like you, the fact you did that. Taking yeah. the grand design, huge mecha construct the right there, replaced by Arha Initiate. Big move right there for Jared or for Chris. Let me see what the next card is. We Rain's heard Chris say it. The game would probably take four minutes. If him Less and Jared were playing, but Punch. this is a fast-paced oh, moving game. One of the more faster games that we've seen in this tournament. And to be honest, it's it's fascinating to watch and to call because you get to see so things happening so the quick. Mystic, There's not a lot of time in between. Yeah, and it also puts a lot of pressure on the other players to right. make decisions quickly because Three, things are changing okay. by a second. Four. So... I'm going to grab a Mystic and then punch a Cultist twice. Yeah, I'm going to take three from you, replace with a five. And that's it. Good uh, move right there starting from Starting off, draw a card. Cool it's, ball. it's coming to me. <laughs> I gain two. And draw a card. Play the Shade of the Black Watch. Uh, Alicia will go. Mm. Four and three. It'll be a mystic, and I'll punch the cultist. Taking a mystic and punching the cultist. A good move, Something a very move solid move right there for Chris. We move on to Jerry. Seer of the fourth path draws me another one. Six. I'm going to banish the earth tyrant. Ooh, good move, banishing the earth tyrant. 
replaced by Avatar Golem. And there's the Avatar Ooh, Golem right there. Two, three, four, five, six. I only activate one initiate. Give you that. I'll use the six to pick up the grand design. Sea Tyrant. Ooh. I'll do a Cultist Punch. And then my said that that Avatar Golem is pretty, pretty big, especially if you're going to have a lot of constructs because you gain oh, one okay. honor for so each faction. So that's five, where a card you have that. Golem. If you build your constructs with different factions, oh, that's a card that's going to help you what a lot in the long run. Doing, I'm not a big fan. <laughs> no one's a fan. Yeah. Replace my method. And then I'm going He's to misunderstood. punch two cultists. Okay. If you did both, maybe. That's my three. That's it. Drawing two. Yeah. You're all done? Yep. So I'll start off drawing a card. I'll gain two and draw another card. I will take three and give you five. Chris, using a lot of that Flytrap Witch. Play Temple Librarian, discarding the Apprentice to draw two. Play the Grand Design. Gain two runes. Use two for a Makata and one here to get the Burrow. Still have one float. Taking out the Burrow and Mark. Good move right Placed there. Placed by Ascect of the Lidless Eye. Mm -hmm. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, ascetic. Yeah, there we go. I was like, I said it wrong. You're just saying bad words. Banish. Um, so I have one rune and two. So I have four and two. Uh, I'll take the mechanic initially. I want to see another card. Give him nothing. Semi Elstrictor. Wow. Not, Wanted to see another car, got a monster. Uh, but it's fun to see Chris I'll play right now. Playing a lot of cards that allow him to dr keep drawing. So his hands early on, even early on in this game, are very big. Right. And he's taking it to I'll an advantage. This for two cards. I'll give you this to banish. Temple Librarian, discarding this card to draw two more. And Jared's right there with him right now. Draw two more. Using cards. a lot of Enlighten and Void. Draw one card. We see our Aha Initiate, two of draw them in card. his hand. So you can see Jared's going for the Enlightened faction right now. <laughs> Something we haven't seen a lot of used throughout the tournament, really. It's been a lot of Void, it's been a lot of Lifebound. Jared's really Banish using the Enlightened faction for this My game. My target will be the Wind Tyrant. Temple Librarian. I will uh, kill the method with the Arhar Templar for two. I'll take three from you. Another Void Initiate thrown on the Let's board right there. Get rid of Samuel's Trickster. Void Initiate and another Samuel's Trickster. And Samuel's Trickster, trickster replaced by Samuel's Trickster. That Trickster he is. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll take the another Aesthetic. One drop. Is there one drop? I know there's one drop. Mm. I'll take the Void Initiate. Points. Doom Slayer. I cultist punch at the end of all that. Impressive, turn. impressive turn by Jared as okay, we get to Nevin. And see what he does. Draw a card. I gotta shut down. Don't worry. I'll take three. And make that a five as I wait. Fly trap witch again, making her presence known. Just realized I went last. I hope we tie. <laughs> That'd be karmic retribution right there. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, no, I like it probably happen. I don't know, we're all pretty good right now. I, okay, gain one, draw a card. Yeah. Like, this board's pretty tame. Thank God, right? No. Okay. Aha Templar is going to pop him for one and one point. So two, three, four, five, five, six, 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 six. The number of the Seven. So I want to check my discard pile. Five. I'm going to take the Snapdragon six, and the Temple eight, Librarian. Six, seven. Yep. Actually, you only have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Oh, no, no, sorry. Seven. Seven. Sure. seven. Yeah, you're correct. Oh, sorry. sorry. I can... That went so fast I, that you're correct. went fast. You're right. And then um, he's the fast one. <laughs> no, I apologize for being fast. <laughs> then a pop he can't calculate. Solid play by Nevin right there. Very interesting as this game is moving fast paced. Let's hear what he has to say coming into this game, how his strategy was with our gamer on the ground. All right, hey everyone, this is Christian with Unrivaled and Umba TV. Standing here with Nevin, getting ready to play the Ascension finale here at a Hex and Co. And you're playing out of Hex and Co? Yes, I am. Played your way in today? I did. 
Pretty excited about that? Very excited about it. And uh, how long have you been playing Ascension for? Uh, since it first started, the uh, first edition came out. All right, so do you think that's going to give you an advantage, having some years, uh, years behind it? I don't know. I've got some tough competition. Do you know the competition you're playing against? Yes, they're glaring at me right now. Now, I see on theirs that they came from the same store from New Jersey. So do you think they're going to team up or do you think they're going to go at each other? Well, I think they're going to go at each other because they know each other well. But uh, I'll try to do a little sneak attack there, a little left hook on them. All's fair in love and war, right? All right. Hey, best of luck to you today. Nevin. All right, thank you. All right, no problem. Like we predicted, Nevin, a veteran player out of the game, but also a little mind games being played at the pre-interview right there. We saw, we heard him say Jared and Chris, or yeah, Jared and Chris were kind of glaring him down, trying to get in his head. But Nevin's doing a great job right now holding his own, and this is a very, very impressive game, one of the more impressive games we've seen so far in the Unrivaled Tournament. So five and four. Okay, so Corrosive Widow, I'm going to pop for two, three, four, so I get three. Correct. But, and each opponent must destroy a construct they control. Grand Zion. Great move right there. Replacement. Wasn't very grand. Citra, Weaver of Stars. It helped you once. Probably twice. And then for four, I'm going to grab this. We'll I've got one left. Oh, Avatar of the Fallen. Uh, nice. Avatar uh, of the twice. Fallen. We all the know the power of that. You defeat that. You get to choose, uh, or you get to choose a hero to have, uh, or defeat a monster of your choice without having to pay its cost. Cool. I drew bad cards. Could be a game changer. Like wink, that. wink. At the end of the day. Uh, I'll take the Wolf Shaman. Good? Yeah. Perfect. Replaced by Method. Gain one attack, two attack, I'll punch the Colts. And that'll be it. So we see as our score right there, Nevin with 17, Jared with 7, Chris with 12. But like we said earlier, just because they have the most honor on the table does not mean they are a guaranteed winner. And we see this. A lot of these players are building their decks quick and quick, giving those high honor right away in their deck. It's going to be interesting to see how this game shapes up in that final countdown. Play this to get one uh, honor. The runic lycanthrope going out there. One, two, three also gives me attack. Three, four, five, six. Give me that. So six and two attack, and it's a board full of that. Uh, I'll take All that work for nothing. Punch the cultists. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six. You don't have to buy anything. I don't, but I will. Hmm. Uh, take the sampler platter. There you go. Half off at the 10 p.m. Okay. So, one, two, four, five, six. A little short. So I'm going to punch the Sea Tyrant. That one says, see you later to the Sea Tyrant. Choose to keep this. Smart choice. <laughs> and also I get, uh, I get one for uh, the Void Thurster. Replace with the Master of Dartha. Very yes, you have. Card. Yep. I, you noticed. Three cards. I noticed right away. So I like Same here. That. Yeah. And then uh, if you, if you two, lose by infantry. If you lose by two, I'll feel really bad. <laughs> so Nevin kind of taking control with the honor on the board right uh, now. I'm gonna start off up to 23. Cards. That's a 10 point lead over Chris right now. Oh, you guys beat that Sea Tyrant, right? Oh, now's the time. Oh, there's another one though. There's two. Burrower to draw a card. Chris throws down the Burrower Mark. This is a very large place. Yeah, and so is my construct. And the Watchmaker's Altar. Lands right now. And a Shadow Star. So constructs galore for oh, Chris right there on this I'm turn. I'm in your dilemma. Right? Stinks. Um. I'll take two Mystics. Two, and call it a day. So a big turn right there for Chris as he throws down Arbiter three constructs. Arbiter the Precipice, draw two. See how Jared responds right here. Apprentice in hand. Uh, draw two more cards. Draw two more cards. Draw one card. Draw one card. Jared has a big turn going on right now. 
I trust you. Look at that hand. Tormented Soul. And I'll draw a card. It's another card Winter. drawn because of the Tormented Soul. He needs to gain his honor. Yes. Ooh, the fork path. Thank you. Let my honesty no, was, not fool you. Yeah. I'm out to murder you. I'll try to translate <laughs> stuff with drawing. Oh, I see how draw a card. Don't forget, but me, it's like. There's that grand design. Right that's there. mandatory. That's not a forget. Uh, so. Banish yeah. the Wind Tyrant. Replaced by Reactor Monk. I did that. Just play it up front, please. Sorry. Perfect. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Won't use that. I'll grab her. Hey, you grabbed wow. the right. You grabbed the right one. <laughs> well, the Weaver of Stars goes straight into creation. goes into Jared's deck. I have one left. Well, Big pick right there. I will punch the cultist into my turn. Jared punching the cultist. So we saw Jared have a great turn right there. We also spoke to him before the game with our gamer on the ground. Let's see how what his strategy was coming into yep. this. All right. Hey everyone, this is Christian with Unrivaled and Umba TV. Staying here today with Jared. Jared, you're playing at the Aether Cafe. Yep. Where is that located? Uh, Hoboken. Jersey. Hoboken, Jersey. Yep. Yeah, we're playing the Ascension Regional Finale. Uh, I think you you know played a couple games, a couple games today. I think your chops are ready for this. Oh, I'm more than ready to take this down. So saw the uh, you know you're here with a friend. Uh, who's gonna win? He's gonna go down. He's he's definitely gonna go down. He's there's not gonna be no contest. I'm taking them all out. Like if you had to put it in terms of honor, uh, how bad are you gonna smash him? Triple digits. Let's go with that. Shots fired. So, just a random question for you. If you were going to play, uh, you know, you can sit down and play Ascension, sit down and play any game against anyone throughout time or history, who would it be? I would uh, say Gary Gygax would be my p top pick. Uh, a grandfather of D&D. &D he, he must have had tons of stories. So, just sitting down and play with him would be awesome. Pick his brain, see what made it all happen. Yep, definitely. Awesome. Hey, best of luck to you today. Thank you. So the grandfather of D&D &D is what, who Jared would want to sit down and play a card game. But right now, Jared's doing a great job himself of in this game. As we move on to Chris, Chris is throwing those factions and those constructs all over the board right now. We see that Flytrap Witch being played. The Apprentice for two more. Wolf Shaman for another. Hmm. Not quite enough. Oh, I do have enough. So one, two, three for attack, four. I'm going to hit the mistake of creation. Gain four. Yep, four. Replace. Lion Talker. I will choose to banish the Sea Tyrant. And I'll also choose to banish the Apprentice in my discard pile. I will grab it for you. Wow. Watch me result to replace this. Uh, <laughs> you can't afford it. Uh, yeah, I can. One, Sarcasm. two, three, four, five. I'll take that bad boy. So you have the fork path. I am passing on uh, Master D for that, though. Um, let me take the seer. Points itself are worth it. Four left. Roddy That's Corey Rex right. 99. Do, 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 do. I'm paying him now. <laughs> yep. Sam Miles trick. You didn't pay him enough to stay on the payroll. Sometimes you just have to sit back and watch things unfold, and that was right. one of those Let turns where Spanish. Chris just kind of took control defense. and saw those different paths to different cards, and it was that was an impressive, impressive turn to watch right there. Activate this so it has uh, two runes and two to attack, two power, four power. One, two, three, four, five, six. Choose not to banish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab the land talker. Tormented soul. That's how I'm feeling right now. Hit the tormented soul. <laughs> we kind of have that effect on people. Corrosive yeah. widow. Uh, I get Did one. You get uh, one? I get one honor for it. Yes, you do. <laughs> 
Get my head in the game, come on. <laughs> We're distracted, yeah. You know, it's, it's our fault. I that, it's like, I, I, now the trash right talk is picking well, up, I like, love it. Like, there's literally so much card going on. I have to make sure that everything's being played correctly, <laughs> make sure all the cards are being drawn right. I have to make sure that oh, there is no, like, like shell game. game. Yeah. That's why I have to watch, we like, I'm going to watch that constantly. Yeah, not only is this probably the most impressive game of Ascension, this is CJ's biggest challenge as the judge. And so far, he is up to the task. Enter. Frog that deck. Honey. All right. Playing Snapdragon. With enough draw, it really shouldn't matter. Can I see the void during his turn? Discard a card. If you do, draw two cards. I am discarding an apprentice, drawing two cards. That doesn't do much. Oh, look at that. Another apprentice. All right. So. Five. Were there no concerts available on my turns? Is that what? I bought them all. Yeah, I know. I noticed. All three sea tyrants in that, yeah. in that void. That's why I don't want to banish them. All right, so I'm going to pop uh, the wind tyrant for three honor, and I get three change. Taking two for a fiver. Thank you. And then, uh, plus, since I said a row, I get another one. Hey, you got it this time. I got it twice in a row. <laughs> right. Now you missed one. Two, three. <laughs> All right, and then uh, so with the three, four, five, six, I am going to uh, spend four of those to get three more honor, the and then five. get another heavy inf infantry, and I'm done. Solid move right there by Nevin. Start us off with the all Powerful line. right now with the 35 honor on the board. So, four, five, six, seven. Master D, come home. Hedron Cannon. Oh, Why? please, please. Why? Oh, the Hedron Cannon doing, makes please? his presence okay. known. Okay. All right. Have a bunch of apprentices. That's please. huge construct and okay. huge implications for this game. That's going to be eight honor added to your cards. deck, you to your honor pool at the end of the uh, game. No. We'll see. <laughs> But I have a lot of card draw anyway. Draw a card. Or you can just get rid of it. Uh, shut up. I'm just saying you could get rid of it right now. Might have to. Uh, get rid of... Get rid of the Reactor Monk. Ooh, Jared says bye to the Reactor Monk. You have done well today, void but you are gone now. Replaced with the Void Thurster. Another, another Void Construct. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Are you watching so. our game under the table? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Luckily, we have delay so that you can't see in real time. As it should be. 11, 42, 12. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Or in case Chris cusses. Uh, that's, the reason. that's the biggest reason. I have the mouth of a nun. You read your profile. We know everything about you. <laughs> I'd probably do the background check just in case. Also, your interview just had yeah. so much like slandering stuff. Like we just couldn't like so let you miss speak that normally. or not choose not to do it. <laughs> two, two, three, four. Be two points. We always slandered my opponents because I want to activate it. Uh, put this on top of my deck. Okay. So then I, when I activate this, I'll get both. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grab the hedron cannon. I thought you forgot about the grand design. Yeah. No. And Jared no, grabs that hedron sure cannon. I wanted this to go off. That's so a I huge move this. right there. Okay. After two points. All right, because you played six, and I'm like, damn, I can't afford it. Did oh, I can. I can. have looked at each other like, uh, our initial replaces. Yeah. Uh, not draw two cards. One, two, so I can get rid of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, pop this first for three. Okay, so with that our, okay, yeah, pop this for three. I want to see okay. the card replaced first before I choose. Spike Vizor replaces. You get three Destroy points. Destroy Construct. I'm destroying the Watchmaker's oh. Altar. I'm Two, destroying Snapdragon. Five. Okay, so actually that's the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It would be great if that was seven. Uh, that'd be Christmas Aww. land. <laughs> Kill the uh, Samuel's Trickster from Samuel's one. Samuel's Trickster no longer. Great move by Jared. I have three left. Oh my gosh. Uh, get me the Arha Initiate. I'll just finish that, sorry. And draw the staff. one more punch. Oh, with the cultists, because I have three yeah. less, so I'm going to take that punch. And turn. 
Your turns are what a great now. move by Jeremy right, sure Shaw right there. Yeah, Highlighted by Gravity. And what a great competition we've had so far today. I'm going to announce the winner of our pizza competition for $40 in store credit for the Laguna Hills Game Masters. Drum roll, please. The winner obviously has to be Jinkle Swerve's pepperoni pizza. But every pepperoni pizza is a smaller pepperoni pizza. And me, I love some pizza. So adding more pizza to the already pizza that I'm eating it's it's icing on the cake right there for sure. So Dingle Swerve, congrats! You're gonna get forty dollars worth of game store credit. Uh, message me your info, and we'll get that straight to you. I appreciate it. Pizza on pizza on pizza. You can't beat that. Let's get back to the game because this is you missed it something quick. We're gone. So let's take a look back into the Ascension game. Four. And I get the last for the final round. There we go. My turn here is done. Alrighty, starting us off. All seeing eye. Master D, draw three. See what I did there? It rhymes. That's what I saw. <laughs> Sick rhymes. You're in New York. Please don't do that all the time. <laughs> Discard. There it is. My man. You get a feature on my next track. That sounds heck of whack. <laughs> um, I am not going to banish anything. I like that board as is. Uh, so I will play the shade, vanishing. Hmm. So looking at the scores right now, Nevin taking a commanding lead with 40 honor, but we see Chris has a lot of constructs on the board. That's going to be a game changer at the end of the day too. As we see that Spike Vixen thrown up on <laughs> the board. Like, we're winding down. We're very like, close. And it's, I told you, this wow. game, these are veteran players. These guys have been playing for a long time. Flip, this is one of the more fast-paced moving games we've seen in the tournament. And also one of the most entertaining games, to be honest, too. I'm liking this little stretch you're giving me. Yeah. Wolf Shaman. I will turn this into attack. So two cultist punches for four attack. Correct. No more rubies for you. Oh. Oh, great ref to that point. No more Jolly Ranchers. Oh, wait. Hey, Brittany, stop us. Jolly card. Being raised by pop culture is maybe not good for TV. Three, four, five, six, seven. And no link device in sight. Uh, so I'll spend these. I'll use these two for the Seer of the Four. Uh, spike Vixen. Five, six, Zero the Spike Vixen. Ozai the Peerless. Ooh. That was for five. Kill all those monsters on that board. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll take the... Uh, yeah, just a little staff. Snapdragon. I'll take a punch. Again, we want to thank all of our mm -hmm. viewers on Twitch, Smashcast, Facebook Live, YouTube. We are at right. New York Two, City, Hex and Company. Oh man, we've had a great day so far. Saw a great game of King of Tokyo. Saw an unbelievable game of Munchkin. And we're seeing a fast-paced moving game of Ascension. We're going to say congratulations to all our winners once this game wraps up. And remember on Twitch, if you're following, always remember to keep down with Cam in your thoughts and your, in your mind. So let's we'll see what I can do here. Five, huh? I'm gonna grab a Snapdragon. Why can I initiate? So this game wrapping up pretty quickly. Spent, and I'm gonna pop uh, three cultists. Three cultists. Three points. And that's Do you end it? That's my turn. What do we have? Three, three left. We'll see. Uh, I'll start off. Game two. I draw a card. I have the fly right trap witch. I will draw. A this card. game started so fast. I'm not entirely sure who started first, but Play we'll be able to tell once the this. game ends. And and Chris, Chris is looking to make some damage right here. I want you to cut me to the tablet. Sure. If it is the tablet. No. Okay. Watchmaker's Altar. That would be Magic Christmas Land. No I love that. Magic Happy Christmas Land. No. So one, I'll spend on the Lifebound Mission. 
the stake of creation. So with the one still remaining and that, two, I'll take the steer of the fork pan. Corrosive Widow. There's all those monsters you were asking about. Just to turn late. So we all heard, heard from Nevin and Jared. The extra honor. We don't want to feel like game. Chris got left out. But can you win do this? I want? So we're gonna hear from him soon with our gamer really on the ground question. as this game winds up. How much honor do you have there right now? As he's asking about all That's the honor Nevin on. has, the riches of rich. Forty-seven. It's a good number. Yeah. I already know what I counted. How many cards in your deck? I'm trying to run back the heroes you bought. Nine? I wish I could count and cards. Chris is trying to count cards I'll ascension if style. He finishes, it's, it's over. It's over, yeah. yeah. That's why. I don't think my math works out for me. I don't. Damn. Can I count the number of cards in my deck? Yes, just do not change the order. <laughs> One, two, he has, three, he has four, to make sure. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Six card turn. Let's let let's just let's hear as Chris what he has to say as he finishes up this turn. The game almost ends right now. Christian once again, Unrivaled at Numa TV, standing here with Chris. Chris playing out of Toy Wiz, that's in New Jersey? That's in Nanuet, New York. Might as well be Jersey, it's right over the border. Jersey, York. Jersey, York, yes. Okay. Okay. Awesome, man, awesome. And you're playing the Ascension Regional today. Say, now I've interviewed a few people and uh, I know we're friends. Hey, shots fired, talking about double digit, triple digit honor wins. How do you feel about that? Well, first of all, you call them people. I wouldn't call them people. They're animals, and I'm going to treat them as such. <laughs> as, you, a, as you should. As you would. I mean, if it was a dog animal, then I'd love it, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. they're not dogs. Yeah. They're like feral creatures. Yeah. So that's what's going to happen. Feral, rabid creatures. Absolutely. Now, sounds like there's a victory. So we're going to wrap this up real quick. But important question. It said, on your sheet, it said, how long have you been playing Ascension? Since day one. Uh, Gen Con, whenever they premiered it, I... I'm too old. I can't remember what date it is. <laughs> it says, uh, you know, you're like the Dan Marino of Ascension. Yeah, where it's I'm so good, but I've never won a Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, so I always finish runner-up at Ascension and the World Championships. Let's say because <laughs> Dan Marino didn't win, but you just said that. So right. you know you stole my thunder. I know, but I also know that Nevin's going to win because me and Jared are going to kill each other, and then he's just going to swoop in and win. Calling but my shot right now. I'm just saying, Steel and Thunder is good. Channel this, take it with you. Best of luck. Thank you, brother. Wow. Chris had a lot to say right there. A lot of friendly banter going on in all these interviews. As the game is reaching its final end right there, this is probably going to be one of the more intense countdowns after this game is over. I'll take the uh, Druid of the Stone Circle. Because you wanted to go one more round. Yes, Throw mark yes two. I did. I have enough for that. With oh the grand design. God. What a jerk. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a slightly big jerk. Seer of the Black Watch. I'm oh, sorry. Right. Shade of Black Watch. All right. And that's my, that's my turn. Could, could be a Seer. We don't so know. this could be a big last going move going for Nevin right here. Yeah, it doesn't Kind of separate himself. He's in the void. Never know. But just in case. Yeah, All right, uh, Templar is going to pop the stake of creation. Okay. You gain four, you won't Respectable second. 25 honor. Take the one. Nah, he, he's pretty good. I, we're going to be all going to be close. All right, and then. That was uh, Lord of Scar. Huh? We're all going to be very close. It's going to be a bit rough. I couldn't get anything running. Three here. Oh, plus I get uh, one for popping a monster in this. Stuff. Oh, I don't. No. Once no. I remember, the card's this far. <laughs> Thank you. I was making your life easier. You can't. You don't have to keep track of all the cards anymore. I have to keep track anymore. of the one, <laughs> the the choice one away card. From just you. the one card. Like, choices uh, now. Nah, just take them away. Yeah. No more choices. No more choices. <laughs> you know. Speaking of one more choice, I'm just going to take a mystic. I don't want. You want to give me another card? <laughs> I'm done. All righty. Let's see what I can do. It's not in my hand right now. I got to go fishing for it. Let's see what I would have. So had. All right, Chris. Let's see oh, it. Was, let's good see good how you though. finish this game up. Draw. Oh wow! A I mean, that that was a good one. Oh god! Oh, Master D thrown on the board. I'm just drawing all my cards draw right now. It's gonna be on the bottom of the deck though. I'll play this to trigger that. I think I can still get through my deck though. I think you can. 
discarding the apprentice. Ooh. Oh, I got it. Uh, it was the next to last card, but I did have one more card. He's going to get through his entire deck. Um, a standing so move right here, that, Chris. Draw. His bet paid off. And we're going to banish the Shade of the Black Watch. Reactor Monk appears. I'll play a Shadow Star. It's okay, I overlap these, right? Um, Interesting, this one's darker than that one from printing. Shade of the Black Watch. Give you that. I got there somehow. Okay. The so, tension in this game now is kind of reaching its yeah, peak right here as the last turn goes. One, two, three, four, five. Everyone a little on edge as Chris is going to finish I'll his final turn. Two fold the scar. Only got one left. I'm used to and Miramasa so thrown on the bar yeah. late. You get the watch. So now I play three more. One, two, three. And the one floating, I'll take the reactor monk. Mistake of creation. I'll use four attack to defeat the mistake of creation. What a turn going on right one, here for Chris. This could be a, uh, this could define it. The place. He's gaining the, the honor he needs on the board. I will banish the shade of the black watch. It has been banished. And I'll revealing choose. Avatar Golem. Choose to banish an apprentice from my discard pile. I come back to me. So I had no runes remaining. They're all spent. Yeah, they're none. I'm confident on that. Tablet of da Time's Dawn. That's oh oh one. the dawn. Tablet of Time's Dawn. That could be. Core the free mancer. And I'm gonna take one last turn. What a move right there! He gets to banishes that construct to do another turn. And work. this this could be the game. That could have been the game right there. That is opposite. Don't do that. What a move! Impressive move! A clutch move on your last turn of the game. All right, fine. It's already, it's already done it here. Done. What worse can I possibly you do? You guys are so negative. Because I've seen this happen. Well, it wasn't that good of a draw. Uh, starting off here. Still not. I think that's my three apprentices that's in my deck. Wolf Shaman, the draw. Seer, the draw. Uh, I will choose to banish the Wolf Shaman. Mistake of creation. Seer. I will choose to banish Oziah. Chris says bye bye to Oziah. He wants a link device. He's looking to Can rack up the last minute turn, last minute points for his turn right here. Two attack, four attack, copy it, six attack. I'll hit the Earth Tyrant for five. And five I'll for you. Draw two cards. Life on initiate comes out. Spike fix in the draw. That's all my draw. Still gone. Hmm. So I'll use this one for the life ammunition. Druids of the Stone Circle. Druids thrown on the board right now. M most for most games. For core. Most games. You may think a little too late, but right now that tablet of time's dawn is really helping so Chris out, and this one, this two, that three, could be the difference four, between the game right here. Five, six, seven, link device. Macan initiate. I'll take him for one. And as we count down here, we're gonna Emery recap the day that we had today here at Hex and Company. We're also gonna have a great interview with Greg and Mark, the store See owners wow. of Hex and Company. And that this is it. A great, we'll great store off. for us know, to hold right? this unrivaled wow. regional. Turn. Amazing. And okay. now we go to the final <laughs> countdown. Okay. And Ooh, this is where everything so, happens, oof, folks. Hold times. hold on, buckle your seatbelt, and enjoy the ride. Please put them in piles of 10 honor points each so that I can do a quick look to make sure that they are counted correctly. After which, we will start with you as you're the first player, and we will... Chris, are you hunting for that link device? The link device? Were you, were you just hunting for the link device? I knew device? it was there. It's just a matter of... 
when. Those were the only three apprentices I had left. One last tormented soul wasn't good. Alright, I'm gonna take four, out the mystics. Six. This is my last apprentice. One, two. The pressure and tension is building. Who is gonna come out on top and find their way to Las Vegas to compete in the Ascension so final finals? Ten. Wow, ten even. Yeah, that works. Drops card. It's a respectable eighty, but I don't think a respectable gets eighty, which has won multiple regionals so far. Eighty? Yeah. I think I have eighty-one. All eyes on Chris right now. A spot on to Vegas on the line. Yep. In one of the more impressive Ascension games we've seen all tournament. Two, two, one, that's five. Five. Nevin, Jared, and Chris, who is going to come out on top? That last turn paid off. Uh, yeah, it did. Yes, it did. I definitely gained more than 20 on that last turn. I think, right? Yeah, 5, 12. Yeah, I mean, so. So 80. 80, 81, 81 and one, then. 101. I just have to do a quick confirmation. Absolutely. And right now, it looks to be Chris would be the winner with a remarkable 101 honor. I don't want to think about what, what you, how much did you swing that one turn after, if you'd stopped then? I, I, we'd have to let the camera go back and see, I don't that know. That tablet definitely times dawn may be the difference yeah. <laughs> in the game. I think I lose if I do that, I think you win. I was already I out. really do think you win if I don't do yep. that. Yep, 101. Ugh, wow. Game. Unbelievable. Chris, that was An unprecedented 101 game, honor. That last turn really made you one. So, congratulations, man. You Woo! One ascension for the regionals. You're on your way to Vegas. And one of the most fascinating games of the entire tournament, not even just ascension, and one of the most fascinating games of the entire tournament, we see Chris come out with 101 honor to book his trip to Las Vegas. And it, let's not put down the effort of Nevin and um, Jared as well. They put up respectable 80 and 81s, which we have seen one tournament regional so far but right there we saw the game changer it will have to be a game changer for sure the tablet of times dawn allows chris to take another turn and he said it himself he probably scored more than 20 points in that last turn and if you look at the time difference or the difference between points 81 101 if my math is correct that is 20 points and that could be the difference between win right there impressive impressive game by all three players and at the end of the day, Chris does an amazing job in what was an amazing game of Ascension. Our Twitch followers were saying it. This game was so fast-paced moving. If you're not paying attention to one turn, you may lose out on what you saw. And right there, I, I, I turned my head one time, and I missed five different things that were played. And it's, it was just an amazing thing. and wraps up in an amazing regional here at Hex & Company game in New York City. We said it's a city that never sleeps, and apparently it is the city that allows Ascension to never stop moving. And it, it was one of the more remarkable games we'll see. And it's going to be fun to see Chris go up against the other competitors in the Las Vegas Finals October 28th at the Jubilee Theater for a chance to win up to $10,000 in Ascension and a cash pool of prizes of $250,000. Chris has definitely made his... His, his presence known. And I just want to say another congratulations to Dinkle Swerve, who won our in-game competition today for the $40 in credit, store credit to Laguna Hills Game Masters. He decided his pizza was going to be a pepperoni pizza, with the pepperonis being even smaller pepperoni pizzas, which to me is mind-taking, breathtaking for me. If I ever saw a pizza like that, I don't know what I would do. But again, we're going to head out to an interview soon with our, our winner, Chris, in what was probably the game of the tournament so far. Let's hear what Chris has to say about his amazing performance. Standing here with Chris, you know, the big victor of the Ascension Regional. I mean, I don't know if you guys were watching the stream, but holy crap, what a move at the end. When did you s sit there and say, okay, there's one honor left, you know what, let's keep this going? 
I definitely was aware of that since Jared's first turn. I was like, I got to play this out and see how much honor Nevin gets. And when he left me at three and I had the fly trap witch in my hand, I'm like, okay, I can use this, gain this honor, and then just see what my options are. So I was taking a look at how much honor he had, how, what I had, and I knew the tablet was in play. So I was like, I, I, I knew we were really close, and I didn't want to take a risk on that. So I was like, I'd rather risk me drawing good cards. And that's what happened, and it paid off. I mean, we even put that on the sign there. I don't know if you see this, but 101, that's, the, that's the century mark. So LOL, baby. LOL. LOL, yeah, LOL 101. Yeah, so Nevin, I mean, he, his shots were that he was going to get, you know, uh, he was going to hit that, and obviously he didn't. I mean, I think it was 80, 81, and then 101, so 20 points. That uh, I say that's a little bit convincing. Any uh, shots you want to fire at these guys? After all the shots I took at them on the pre-interview, I don't think I necessarily need to. No, that, it was a really fun game. Everybody had fun, and I especially had fun. <laughs> and you're the one that gets to go to Vegas, so any, any plans for that, or is it too new, too soon? Uh, we're going to go, we're going to win 10 grand, and we're going to put it all on black and make it 20 grand. I like it. I mean, I don't know. So far, it's the first person that, you know, that much confidence saying, not only am I going to win it, but I'm going to put it on black and double it up. So we're going to need to follow you around when you win, and I want to see that catch that on camera. Are you all right with us following you around a casino if that happens? I love the fact that you said when I win. So thank you very much for believing in me. Well, you know, it's got to start somewhere. You believed in yourself. I'm going to believe in you. You know, Team Chris, it's easy for me because Team Christian. So, you know, we can keep this going. It's true. I like it. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, hey, we're going to go back to Justin. They say the lights are brighter in New York. The confidence is definitely huge for Chris. He's going to take his talents all the way to Las Vegas for where he says he's already going to win. I just want to take a special thanks to Hex and Company Games store owners Greg and Mark. This was an amazing facility, a store that allowed us to go into what turned out to be an unbelievable regional as we move on our way to Las Vegas. We're going to have an interview with them shortly, but I just want to recap that amazing game th thrown by Chris. 101 honor right there. Unprecedented for us to see that in a three-player game of Ascension. He did his best. Confidence already. He's already saying he's going to win and put that on, double it on black. So the confidence is high. Hey, we're in New York City, the city that never sleeps. People famous are here. Chris takes his talents and he said, you know what? This is this was a exactly what I wanted to do and knew exactly what he wanted to do. But again, I want to thank Hex and Company Games. We're going to throw to an interview with the store owners, Greg and Mark, and just want to say thank you for having us. Hey everyone, and again, say here with the owners here at Hex and Co. New gaming store, New York, New York. So I'm going to pass it on down. Let them introduce themselves real quick. Hi, my name is Greg May, John Freeman, and I'm Mark Miller. And then, so this is the new store, and technically you guys open on Tuesday. Can you give us a location so that way people will be able to find you? Absolutely. 2871 Broadway here in Morningside Heights in Manhattan. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much. And then what sort of events are you going to be hosting at this store? Do you have some nights already, already planned out, or, or is that to, to be determined? Oops, sorry. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Done. Uh, <laughs> Well, we are planning on hosting uh, standard uh, magic nights and D&D &D nights, and we hope to be having uh, all sorts of clubs based on community interest, whether that's Scrabble, chess, backgammon, uh, you name it, we can probably host it. And then I have a flyer from uh, the front of the store here, after school at Hex & Co. Can someone tell me a little bit about this program? It seems super awesome. Yeah, we've been running this after school program at another location now for six years. Uh, it is based on neurodevelopmental principles of brain activation through gameplay. Kids have fun. We don't mention the words learning, and parents love it. All right. And then, question for you. So, with game cafes popping up, I know this isn't your first crack at this. You have a couple other stores. So, um, you know. What do you feel, how do you feel about this phenomenon? I mean, it seems like board games, coffee, it goes hand in hand. Um, tell me a little about your experience with it. Obviously, it's your third store, so you have some experience with this. Let you pass it on down. So. Absolutely. So uh, I run the Uncommons down in Greenwich Village here in Manhattan. And uh, we've seen an incredible run over the last four years. We get to two and three hour waits. Uh, it's clear that the community needs more places to play and uh, that people really appreciate the concept, uh, a home for communities. 
and I've been running the Brooklyn Strategist in Carroll Gardens for the last six years. Uh, the community is looking for a psychologically and physically safe place to be, and we've become a cornerstone in our community. Uh, and I think more neighborhoods around the country could use places like this. So my early background was in the video game business. So I think it's <laughs> cut them off. We're good. <laughs> We're still live. Okay. Wow. So I, I, I mentioned the word video games. Did you see that? And the lights went out. So it's a, to me, it's just, it's magical when people can get together in the real world, face to face, play games, compete, get to know each other. We see a lot of younger people coming here on dates. It's a great way for people to get to know one another. And, you know, even when people are playing video games online, it's not nearly the same thing as being in the physical space and being with each other. So that's why I think, I think there's a really kind of a snapback from the digitization of everything and everybody with their nose and screens uh, to, you know, being in a physical place. So that's what we tried to create. And if I could, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone for coming. Thank you so much to Unrivaled for uh, selecting us as the venue. This was the best opening experience uh, we could imagine. Yeah, awesome. And I, thank you so much for being such gracious hosts, I want to say. So on behalf of Unrivaled and Umba, thank you guys. And then if, if you're in any of these towns, the Uncommons, Brooklyn Strategist, or here at Hex & Co., come on in. The guys are awesome. You can get great coffee and board games. And we're going to go back to Justin. Thank you, Christian. Again, I want to say thank you to Hex & Company. An amazing stay here, an amazing store here in New York City. We had a great time at the New York Regional of Unarrival Tournament Series. I want to say congrats again to our winners today. Uh, Brian of Munchkin did a great job of unbelievable comeback right there. Then we saw Ezra of King of Tokyo, and then we saw Chris take his domination of Ascension. So congrats to all those winners. We're going to see you in Las Vegas. But next week, we are in Newport, Kentucky at the GameWorks, September 9th. LMQ start at 11 a.m. local time. We will go live at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then September 16th, we are in GameWorks in Chicago, Illinois. Ooh, I can't wait to go to Chicago. Then we finish up September 23rd in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And then the finals, October 28th in Las Vegas. I'm going to have a great time there. I'm hoping to see you guys there. This was an amazing day here in New York City. For us here at Unrivaled and Uba, I'm Justin Gillerman. We'll see you next week in Newport, Kentucky. Las Vegas is home to Tabletop Championships in October. The Unrivaled Tournament Series conquers the Strip with hundreds of players competing in six games. Ascension. King of Tokyo. Munchkin. Nevermore. Epic Spell Wars 2. And Villagers and Villains. All for the chance to win part of the $250,000 prize pool. It all takes place on October 28th in the Jubilee Theater starting at 5 o'clock. Join us in person or watch us live at umba.tv and check out unrivaled.com for a full schedule of events. Looking forward to seeing you there.